What if I told you there exists a book that no one in the world, not even the most brilliant minds, have been able to decipher? Welcome to the mystery of the Voynich Manuscript. Uncovered in the year 1912, this peculiar manuscript was named after Wilfred Voynich, a Polish book dealer who stumbled upon it in an Italian Jesuit college. Even at first glance, Voynich knew he had found something extraordinary. The Voynich manuscript, dated to the early 15th century, has puzzled experts from various fields, cryptographers, linguists and historians alike. This manuscript, written in an unknown script, contains over 200 pages of cryptic text and illustrations. Yet its true meaning remains a mystery to this day. The early provenance of the Voynich manuscript is largely unknown. Radiocarbon dating its pages has placed it between 1404 and 1438. The first confirmed owner was George Baresh, a 17th century alchemist from Prague. Upon Baresh's death, the manuscript passed to Jan Marek Marci, who sent it to Anthanasius Kircher at the Collegio Romano in hopes of having the text deciphered. Marci's accompanying letter, dated 1665, expressed there is some evidence that the author might have been a 13th century Franciscan friar and speculated that it might have once belonged to the Holy Roman Emperor, Rudolf II. The manuscript sat untouched for the next 200 years, stored in the library of the Collegio Romano, until in 1912 when the Collegio Romano decided to sell some of its holdings. It was then purchased by Polish book dealer Wilfred Voynich. The Voynich manuscript measures 23 by 16 by 5 centimeters and contains approximately 240 pages, though some pages are assumed missing. The text is left to right with foldable sheets of varying sizes. Most pages feature fantastical illustrations and diagrams, including depictions of people, fictitious plants, astrological symbols, and more. The Voynich manuscript is an illustrated codex, handwritten in an unknown script referred to as Voynichese. The text comprises over 170,000 characters divided into groups referred to as words or word tokens. Statistical analyses have noted the highly regular structure of Voynichese words, suggesting it contains meaningful language encoded in a distinctive manner. The Voynich manuscript is divided into six sections, primarily characterized by illustrations due to the unreadable text. The sections include herbal, astronomical, balneological, cosmological, pharmaceutical, and recipes. The herbal section features plants accompanied by paragraphs of text, resembling European herbals of the time, but do not depict any easily identifiable plants. Astronomical contains circular diagrams with astronomical or astrological themes, including symbols for zodiac constellations. The balneological section is dense text interspersed with small drawings of nude women bathing in interconnected pools. Cosmological features obscure circular diagrams, including a notable foldout known as the Rosette's Folio, depicting a diagram with nine islands or rosettes connected by causeways and castles, possibly including a volcano. Pharmaceutical has labeled drawings of plant parts, apothecary jars, and text paragraphs ranging from mundane to fantastical. Finally, the recipes section contains full pages of text with short paragraphs, each marked with a star in the left margin. Wilfred Voynich died in 1930, leaving the manuscript to his widow, Ethel. The manuscript was donated to Yale University in 1969, where it remains to this day. The Voynich manuscript continues to captivate imaginations, fueling speculation and inspiring ongoing scholarly inquiry. In the mid-20th century, cryptographer William Friedman, who broke Japan's purple code during World War II, tried to unlock the Voynich manuscript secrets, but to no avail. More recently, in 2017, a team of Canadian researchers applied statistical analysis to the text, but were unable to decipher its elaborate code. Yet despite these efforts, the Voynich manuscript keeps its secrets well guarded. Recent attempts to decode it using artificial intelligence have shown promise, yet even the most advanced algorithms have failed to fully decipher its cryptic text. So what have we learned about the Voynich manuscript? It is a centuries-old manuscript discovered in the early 20th century, written in an unknown script and filled with peculiar illustrations. Despite the best efforts of experts and even artificial intelligence, its purpose and meaning still remains unknown. 
Theories about its origins range from it being an elaborate hoax to the work of an ancient secretive society. Despite numerous attempts to decode it, the Voynich manuscript continues to defy understanding. In the end, the Voynich manuscript serves as a humbling reminder of the limits of our knowledge and understanding. For now, the secrets of the Voynich manuscript remain locked away, its pages whispering in a language that we, as yet, do not understand.